Hello to my fellow waggers. What's a wagger? Kids that are wild about God. That's what a wagger is. I'm a wagger and I think you're a wagger too. All right? Because we like to be wild about God. Now, I have to tell you something. Tomorrow is a special day. Do you know what day it is? It is Mother's Day. And that is awesome. So guess what? Here's the secret. You need to do something special for your mom. Because you have the greatest mom. All right? So make her some toast for breakfast tomorrow morning. Pick some flowers, but do something special for her. All right? Thanks, Waggers. Okay, well, that's our secret, okay? Don't go sharing with mom what your plans are. Okay, very good. But anyway, we've got a, a wonderful program coming up just ahead for you. All right? And let me start off by telling you that we have a wonderful story coming up. We've got these international actors that I have been able to find that are going to put on the story for you. And I'll just give you a little hint. The story has to do with Jesus. Are you ready? Here we go. Jesus left the temple and the people were very angry because he had just tipped over all the merchants' tables and they were very upset. Where did Jesus go? Nobody seemed to know. Jesus, where are you? And someone said, he might be at the Mount of Olives, a place where he often went to rest and pray. Nicodemus decided to follow him. He waited until it was dark, so none of his friends would see where he was going. The famous ruler, wrapped his cloak around him and set out into the night. How he found Jesus, we do not know. He went on Jesus' shoulder and said, tap, tap, hello. Hello. Jesus, ah. can, can Jesus, can we talk? I got some questions for you. I got some questions for you. So Jesus and Nicodemus yeah. sat down yeah. and they had a long discussion about the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said, hmm, teacher, 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 oh, no. teacher, what shall I do to earn eternal life? What shall I do to earn eternal life? Jesus said, aha, now I see now your I see. smart little cookie. Smart cookie. I will explain. No, 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 I will explain. And so, starting at the beginning, Jesus told him, you, you should be, must be born again. Oh, and Nicodemus laughed his heart out. And he said, ah!
Do you see that picture, Nicodemus? Must be lifted up on the cross, and everyone who believes in the Son of Man must be born again. Uh, I'm not sure I quite understand. Jesus, what's that word on that paper? Baptism. Need to be baptized. What is baptized? You're being put in where? In water. But okay. that's just not it. When, once you go into the water, your sins are being washed away, and you're showing people that you want to believe in Jesus. Then when you come out, your, your sins are all gone. And the Spirit of the Lord comes into your life and helps you to live a good life. Do you understand, Nicodemus? Oh, now other Now you understand, Nicodemus? Finally, finally, Jesus said these famous words to Nicodemus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God is so beautiful. Boys and girls, isn't that beautiful? Do you believe? Because the, what Jesus said was, whoever believes in Jesus shall have Eternal. I believe. I guess my next question for you, Nicodemus, is do you believe, Nicodemus? Yeah. Yeah, what? What are you supposed to say, Nicodemus? Do you? Yeah. I believe. How about you, Jesus? Uh, yeah, I believe. You believe? Yeah. I think the boys and girls in this story also do believe. Thank you, boys and girls. You only need to believe in Jesus that he loves you. And eternal life is yours. Thank you. See you next time. On that. That was pretty incredible, wasn't it? The story of Jesus and Nicodemus. I just think about the story and I think, you know, stories happening at night secret rendezvous with Jesus and he gets to ask these questions and Jesus gets, man, I wish it could have been me. I wish it could have been you. That would be incredible to sit down and just ask Jesus some questions and him be able to provide the answers that we need. But I am so glad that that story is in the Bible. Upcoming next is actually going to be Crafts with Miss Sharon. And I like it, and I know you like it too. So here we go. Happy Sabbath, boys and girls, and welcome back to our Wild About God, or as Pastor Josue likes to call it, all you wagsters out there. And we hope that you enjoy our craft today. Um, I'm going to show you what we're going to be making today. This is going to be the town for all the parts that we've made, which you can see most of them up there. So we're going to um, take, if you have black construction paper, or um, I have cardstock here, you can put some black construction paper on, to on top of cardboard. Um, but I, like I said, I've got the cardstock here, so this is ultimately what we're going to have left over. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull out my cardstock, and in order to get the lines for the the road, what you want to do is take a piece of white paper, and you're going to want to cut a very small strip up. There we go. And then you can take the strip and start cutting it into small pieces. They don't have to be very wide. And so this is, this is how we'll get the lines for the road. 
So now I've shown you how to do that, but we've I've already cut quite a few, so we're just gonna to prep. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started on making our road. And all we want to do is just put a little bit of glue down um, in spots that kind of make like a cross through the um, or a plus sign through the whole piece of cardstock. So I'm just going to put little spots. You can see this where I want my lines to be and then I'm going to stick the lines on top of the little glue spots. And you can put them as far away or uh, far apart or as together, close together as you would like. And I'm going to start on the bottom end here as well. we want to do next is put the green patches in each of the four corners and then that'll help create our road. So what you want to do is take a piece of uh, construction paper or if you have cardstock that's fine and what I did was so that I could get the four even squares I folded it in half this way and that gave me a long line and then I folded it in half this way and that gave me the short half and then I could easily cut along the lines and that'll give us four relatively even pieces to put in the four corners. Now we may end up having to trim a little bit off of the four corners just because of the shape. Um, maybe too long one way and too short the other way. So when we put this on, no matter which way you put it, you see it's closer here and wider here. So what we can do is, I think we'll do it this way. We'll do it long ways. And then we're just going to trim off just a little bit up there, maybe a half an inch to make the road seem a little bit more realistic. There we go. So that's better, right? Now it looks more even. Some roads are wider than others, but that one was really, really skinny. So then you want to take your glue stick and you want to put glue on the back of your green grass square. And then we want to glue it on. There we go. So there's your first patch. Let's do that for the other four. I mean, I'm sorry, the other three. So now what we need we have a boat, remember our boat? We need water to put our boat in, so we are going to take a blue piece of paper or cardstock, whatever you have, and if we put the boat on it, we'll know about what size we want to make our little lake or pond. So we can just take a pencil and you can really draw any kind of shape. I mean, sometimes lakes are just, they're round with a little bit of a little bit of fun curves to them. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy. And then we want to cut out our lake. So we'll just cut along the line you created. 
make it be again any shape that you want, whatever will be fun. Because obviously our boat is rather large, but that is the fun part of it about making your own town. Things can be as big as you want them to be. All right, so we're going to find which corner you want to put it in. I'm going to put it up in this corner because that one seems like a good spot. You want to put all your glue, right? There we go. Stick it in the middle of the spot there. And now you can put your boat right on top. Of course, our boat is slightly bigger than than our water, but we could always trim the boat down if we wanted to. And then you can put your other items that you have on there. We can put our house on one, and we have some trees. Maybe at the pond there are some trees. And maybe over here this is a park, maybe. We could have the trees in. And of course, all Towns have a stop sign, right? And maybe near the park there's bicycle riding. And maybe back here they want you to yield. Whoops, our yield sign fell over. There we go. And of course, we always have people. And so hopefully you can see most of the town here of Kidsville and we've really enjoyed going through this um, BBS craft and um, you know next week we might start a whole new series so I hope you enjoyed doing your uh, Kidsville town for um, being wild about God and we pray Lord that the that Jesus will be with you and to show you how much he loves you and and your family and we pray that you keep safe bye bye I know that you want to join me in saying thank you to Miss Sharon. Can we say thank you, Miss Sharon? Come on now, you can do a little bit better than that. Thank you, Miss Sharon. All right, that was a little bit better. I like that. Mrs. Sharon is so creative, and I like it because she takes you step by step. Now, if you weren't able to complete the craft, just rewind the video a little bit and you can catch right on up, okay? Be careful with the scissors. We don't want anybody cutting themselves, all right? Up, coming up next. Do you know what's coming next? Oh, I think I heard someone say it. It is quiz time. Are you ready for the Bible quiz? Guess what? This week, the quiz is going to focus on two things. So I'm giving you a hint so you can get ready, okay? So the quiz is going to focus on, um, I believe, whoa, wait a minute, oh no, it's a quiz. I'm not allowed to tell you. Ready or not, here it comes.
you caught me. <laughs> I'm reading the Bible. Oh, that's great. I love to read the Bible. And you know what? Reading the Bible helps you to get ready for the Bible quiz. As you probably already expect, we're having a Bible quiz every week. And I love it. I love it. I love to read God's Word. And I love to learn from it. And probably you're like me. You love it too. Well, listen, guys, that's going to be it for this week. But I thought we should end with a word of prayer. Is that okay? Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we just want to stop for a moment to say that we love you. We want to wag for you. We want to be wild about God. Please help each boy and each girl to learn more about Jesus every day. Thank you that you love us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. By the way, not only will we see you next week, but don't forget about Mother's Day. Bye.